Hey everyone, Mike here, and uh, hey, check it out. I got some uh, Team Hoyt sunglasses. Pretty cool. Um, man, it's bright. Um, yeah, you could probably get a pair yourself um, if you uh, go online to teamhoyt.com and then shoot an email to Kathy. She'll probably. Um, I think she's got some, I think they're like 40 or $50. Nice glasses though. But uh, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I just wanted to, well first of all, I'm heading to the paint shop. I'm picking up one of our chairs, well not one of our, one of the chairs we built for someone. And um, it should look real nice. I got, uh, they picked uh, sky blue, no, traffic blue. Um, eh, it's deeper than this color here, uh, but um, with blue rims, green tires, like fluorescent green tires, fluorescent green hand grips, brake calipers, fluorescent green, so it's got that blue and green look. I tell you, the wheels look really good. Maybe I'll post a video with it uh, next week, but um, yeah, I, I'm just, um, I, get, I got a few... Uh, requests for the story of um, of how you know my my family's business is Southbridge Tool and Manufacturing how Southbridge Tool and Team Hoyt um, got together and collaborated well uh, several it was 2009 I, I went to a, uh, a seminar and uh, the slideshow presentation had a picture of uh, Dick and Rick competing and it was very inspiring to me I had heard of them, but I really didn't know much of their story. So the um, the presenter the um, that was doing the seminar went into some pretty some pretty good detail of who they were and what they did, and uh, I was extremely inspired. And um, a couple months later, my wife and I were we were going grocery shopping. It was a Sunday morning, and uh, I am so happy and glad that I decided to bring my business cards with me to go into the grocery store for whatever reason that is because I never would bring my business cards with me I used to usually just keep them in the console of my car and uh, as we're walking in Dick Hoyt's walking out and um, so I was so I was starstruck and um, pursued him out into his park <laughs> into the parking lot and through his car and uh, I just gave him my business card, introduced myself, and I, you know, I, I, I mentioned to him, look, you know, we have a manufacturing company. Um, whatever you need, if you need, if you need anything fixed, you can bring it. We can pretty much fix anything, and um, and that was it. We went on our way, and a year later, uh, Dick Hoyt's standing in our office and asking if we can actually if we could build a chair for Rick. Uh, Rick had just had uh, surgery on his spine, and he had actually, I believe it was a, 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 a steel rod put in his in his spine uh, to help give him better posture. And uh, and what was happening was he couldn't race because after that procedure, for him to sit straight up like as if his his body was like 90 degrees from his thighs to, to his torso uh, would be 90 degrees so and he was so there was a lot of pressure and compression on his spine and uh, I, I haven't I didn't see the, the actual chair that they were using but from what I understand that the padding was you know it was it was part of the uh, uh, um, bolted to the frame and uh, so that was causing a lot of vibration and discomfort for him so um, in essence, all that Dick wanted us to do was to just create um, an insert because he had a uh, he had some wheels that in a, in uh, in like a cage that we could that he wanted something inserted into so he could push Rick. So we came up with uh, that hammock uh, the uh, hammock uh, concept, and it worked out great. There's no pressure points for him. He's reclined. He's he's um, he's relaxed. And uh, it's one and a half inch thick memory foam, uh, and he just loved it. And he loved it so much so that uh, 
that they came back and he says, well, can you make another one for me? And I was a little confused with another one, a backup. And he says, well, no, not really. He says, um, you know, we, I'd like to put uh, the other insert, the second insert uh, in Rick's apartment because he, it's so comfortable for him. I just want him to be able to, he doesn't want to get out of his race chair. So maybe we can have two, one for racing and one for in his, in his, in his house. So we did, we built, we built him another one. But, um, and it was a success. And, uh, and we weren't thinking about performance then. So it was made out of, you know, tube steel. Um, so it was pretty heavy. And, uh, you know, we, um, <laughs> you know, we were successful in making Rick as comfortable as possible. And, um, and now the next step was to, okay, can we make the chair lighter? Can we make it more efficient for Dick to push and uh, make it faster for him, uh, easier, especially on the hills? And um, we were able to do that. However, that being said, it was very painstaking. Uh, that one, it was for about a year that um, literally Dick would go and race on a Saturday and a Sunday or a Sunday, and he'd come back on a Monday or a Tuesday, and he'd say, okay, um, can you fix this or that, or can you make this better or that better? And, um, and then we'd do that, whatever he, he wanted, whatever he requested, and he would race again the following weekend, and then he'd literally come back again and say, okay, that, that was okay, but we still need to tweak this or that. And um, that went on for a year. Um, and I look back, and I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for all the, 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 uh, the pain and the, and, the, uh, and the frustration that we had gone through. Um, on both ends, Dick too. He, there were times when he come in and he's just shaking his head, like, "Oh my God, this just isn't working." And, um, but we finally got it right, you know, over over time. And what a great way to test is right there on the field, right there on the, you know, dur during a half marathon or a marathon or or triathlons. I just doing. And um, so it worked out well, and uh, we, you know, he educated me on the actual that. There was a big need for these things. There's a need for um, these running chairs uh, for people to be able to participate in an activity in sports. Um, I didn't realize um, I didn't realize how how uh, how much of a demand there was uh, in the world for these. So I'm grateful that you know I was able to meet Dick Hoyt and um, and we started this great partnership and great friendship and um, we're able to pass our our, uh, our product on to others and they're enjoying races and uh, thanks for all the emails uh, y'all know who you are when uh, after we after you receive the chair and you send them to send me the email from the uh, the first race you did in our chair and I see the big smile so it's um it warms our heart and uh believe me when you when you send me photos i pass them along to dick and uh it just it just he just becomes filled with joy so um thanks y'all and um look uh if you if you have any questions you can uh you know send me an email um team hoyt rc at gmail.com um you know what you can even call my my phone uh 508 uh 474 uh, 5150 and um, I'm not on Twitter yet I will be um, I'm still gonna try I gotta learn the Twitter thing but uh, but our, our website it will be online uh, very soon probably within the next couple weeks and uh, you know check us out on Facebook uh, Facebook uh, Team Hoyt Running Chairs and also YouTube Team Hoyt Running Chairs I got a couple videos up there I don't know if you all seen them but um, yeah so I'll be posting another video probably next week. And um, thanks for your time. And uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.